Right then, I thought we'd do uh, some cooking. Well, I say cooking. What I mean is um, putting something into a pan and making it hot. So, and as this week is probably the it's supposed to be the third week of my holiday in Thailand, I thought some Thai food. So, uh, the easiest thing to do to make is khao tom, which is boiled rice soup. Khao tom gong, which is a prawn, so uh, khao tom soup with prawns. So I'm going to make that, I'm going to put it into a pan. Um, I've got some rice, some pre-packaged rice, which is already cooked. I'm going to use that. I'm going to put some prawns, garlic, ginger and some chilies. So we're going to get some prawns. King prawns, we're going to have some of that. We're going to go into the, into the freezer. Some garlic. Chilli. And some ginger. So the idea will be that we'll put this into a, a saucepan. Bring it to the bring it to the heat and then we will try and and then we'll try and um, cook it. It doesn't doesn't really need to be cooked for very long. But we should do that. So let's start off with some rice. We'll put that in. Put that into the pan. As I say, when, when I say the word cooking, I don't know, see, I don't mean, mean that really, to be honest with you. Sauce of rice, it's, uh, it's some Thai jasmine rice, so it's uh, proper Thai rice. So we're going to put in there some water. We've got some pure uh, filtered water, which we're going to put in. This is probably going to make um, quite a lot of cow tom, enough for maybe two, uh, either two people or two portions. We've got some uh, garlic there. Plenty of the garlic. Plenty of garlic. A bit of ginger. And some chili. Turn the heat on. We'll just warm that up. I'm not going to put the prawns in yet because they're already cooked. And I really hate it when they're overcooked. Again, we've got ease of use. We're just gonna let this heat up. How much water I should put in, but I'm hoping that that will go down a little bit. The rice is already cooked, so there's a problem with um, it doesn't have to be uh, kept for too long. Obviously, I'm hoping that some of the water will be 
absorbed into the uh, rice so it won't be so runny but there again I did have some soup in uh, Thailand uh, in October and it was really really thick soup and I didn't really enjoy it that much I preferred the slightly runny version Thai Tom but essentially what it is it's just um, boiled rice that's it uh, in a you know with um, added uh, ingredients usually they put some green in there so it could be cilantro or other sort of green uh, vegetable or herb um, unfortunately I haven't got any so I can't put that in so there we go it's just um, it's just heating up I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't know if this is even going to work. I'll put these uh, prawns in. Oops, that's one. Those prawns in there, and that's it. So now just wait. Got some salt, some Himalayan pink, pink salt, which is good for you. So this is just a quick a video to do uh, some some cooking as such. Uh, although I don't, I don't really like cooking. I, I'm not a very good cook, so I tend to shove things in a pan, or or, uh, or even just I tend to shove things in the pan or just microwave it. To be honest, I haven't really got time or patience to cook, and of course. Um, giving me one of these it's quite dangerous not for anybody else but for myself so just uh, trying to avoid damaging um, damaging myself six and a half hours later right so here we are there is quite a lot of rice in there and not very much uh, liquid I think I will probably have to either increase the liquid or reduce the rice next time anyway obviously my version is very very hot i've just cooked it and of course it's not quite the same as i remember so which is obvious really because i'm not really a chef and i'm not thai and I don't really know how to cook Thai cow uh, tom. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to get on and eat that, and uh, hopefully, it might inspire you to do some cooking while we're in the um, lockdown. Okay, bye for now.